What's up friends of the good mood? This is Manny and welcome to the new Manny pilot and this video revealing for the first time his new ability, okay? So uh, yeah, this is what's gonna happen. You already see on screen the Manny pilot carrying his portable vortex launcher on the shoulder and in order to celebrate the occasion I decided for the duration of this video to run my Typhon Vortex with Max Vortex Overdrive Jump Unit Legendary Pilot, okay? So let's jump into the the reveal of the new Manny pilot. This is how it's going to work. We have three parts of a bio that I want to read to you guys so you know what the background of the pilot is. And then I'm going to reveal the ability uh, and tell you what it's going to be and what the pilot is going to do for you in the robots, right? So, Manny pi bio, for part one. Manny was once a normal teen from Icarus. He dreamt of piloting robots since he was a kid. So he joined the military school as, he, as soon as he could. Unfortunately, he never managed to complete his studies. The local laws demanded that he had to become a cyborg upon reaching adulthood. But he hated the idea. Once 2120 struck, Manny made the crazy decision to leave the native colony. He had a big problem as there was nowhere to go and the other colonies would not accept him. However, he heard some rumors of an independent city called Neo Tortuga, which was apparently founded by rebels like him. So that was where Manny set off to, taking all his savings along. Life was hard for the early settlers, but Manny never lost heart and kept encouraging everyone by calling them friends of the good mood. That's right, Pixonic, that's exactly what I'm doing. So yeah. Awesome, that was part one of the bios. Uh, we're gonna keep on reading, but one more thing I'd like you guys to ask for me, if if possible, would be, could you check out my Instagram and follow me there, ladies and gentlemen? I am trying to reach 10K, 10K subs right there because I'm planning to make a studio tour, my recording studio, to show it in detail for you and release it on the Instagram page. If you're interested, it would be awesome if you could follow me on there uh, and help me achieve that big goal that I set off to get to. Um, but yeah, let's get into the second part of the bio, alright? So, uh, by the way, the link to the Instagram is in the video description pinned comment in the top right, if that is supported right here. Um, but yeah, so, bi bio part two. Manny's passion for robots never went away, so Manny gladly took on the first independent mercenary contracts as soon as they began to appear. Their work was not, uh, was not highly valued yet, the pay was meager, and their odds against fully equipped, trained, cooperative squads were slim. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about there. Uh, especially with the poor state of the mercenary personal robots. This made Manny focus on getting the most out of his cheap equipment and tactics. Yep, remember my old uh, Spectre? Uh, no, Strider? The old Strider that has been running so long and so many other things uh, that I still enjoyed so much. Instead of guns and combat power, his own strategy was simple. He would pretend to lose and then unleash the full power of his robot when his opponents became relaxed and complacent. And that there's more truth in this than you think. Remember my playstyle is overdrive. My playstyle is taking damage. So I can activate full damage back and then instantly take them down, right? So it's awesome that they actually, you know, implemented this. And by the way, the ability that I'm gonna reveal in a few seconds also has something similar to overdrive, okay? Um, and by the way, if you like the content, ladies and gentlemen, and subscribe to the channel, if you haven't done it yet, giveaways will be coming up. Also, about the pilot and the Orochi sometime soon. But let's keep on reading. Manny always found it fun to watch his shocked opponents retreat from the battlefield as fast as they could. Indeed. All right, bio part three, and that's a shorter one and the last one, and then I'll t tell you about the ability, okay? Are you ready for it, guys? Bio part three. The years passed and the demand for Manny's services kept growing. He was, he was not just a mercenary, he was also a blogger posting videos of his many battles talking about robots, guns and interesting tactics. That sounds about right. The corporation started to line up and give him new equipment to get his own... Uh, no, okay, to get his opinion on their latest designs. However, Manny always returned to his trusty old favorite Vortex. No matter how great the new equipment he was offered might be. That's kind of true too, I love those Vortex, it's just that if we're being honest, look at this, Pam, Typhon, Suppression, Ability Deactivated, and BOOM! Down to 30%, that's Vortex for ya, man. The problem is just that in today's meta, Vortex play is very hard to be effective, because all those shields and stealths and face shifts and cloak, and, yeah, all those things, right, making it very hard to make a decent hit. Um, but if you can make those hits, they're still very devastating. And the Typhon robot, in my opinion, is the best setup for Vortex play because he enables you to deactivate enemy phase shift, 
cloakings and stuff like this. The only thing left is cloaking unit, last stand, and the drone ups, drone shields that can still pop up and uh, ruin your damage, right? But yeah, so that was the bio. Let's go and reveal the actual ability, guys. Okay, so Manny's ability is gonna be called Manny's Tactics, okay? <laughs> and uh, let me just make that a little larger here. You see that Manny pilot with the same sunglasses as I'm wearing right now, our living legend sunglasses. And uh, the ability is called Manny's Tactics. The robot receives a damage boost or bonus. The robot also gets bonus damage for every 10% lost in durability. Yo, this is so much similar to Overdrive, right? This is what they meant when they say that uh, I, I act like I'm losing or I pretend to lose, taking damage, taking damage, and then activating increased damage and BOOM, right? And that with Vortex or stuffing like this. Uh, for example, look at that Orochi down there. He's thinking he's, he's, he's trying to be tricky and trying to get me up here. Let me show him what happens when he messes with the wrong Vortex, dude. Pew! Ability deactivated and BOOM! <laughs> That's right, dude. All right, so um, we get th the ability is crazy. You get bonus damage just by the robot itself, by the pilot itself, right? I don't know exact numbers, unfortunately. I'm trying to get the exact numbers for you so I can tell you. Okay, it's gonna be like eight percent regular damage increase, for example. Maybe it could be eight percent, or maybe it's five, or maybe it's ten. I don't know. The pilot itself will give you bonus damage already. And then for every 10% durability lost, you get another boost. Take at my HP right now. I have overdrive running. That is 75% increased damage right now with three times overdrive. I have the active module running. Uh, the on de module use damage, right? It's called those microchips, giving me another 45% or 40% almost. So that's more than 100% already. Now, I am at like 35% HP. That means right now I would get about five times the 10% bonus damage from the durability loss, right? And let's imagine that those damage boosts equal about five or 10% for every 10% HP loss. That's, that's so much damage you can do. Of course, again, this is exactly my playstyle: high risk, high reward. You wanna snipe, that's your pilot now, because this is the highest damage you can inflict on the battlefield for a longer duration, right? Um, if you want to brawl only, then you will also benefit from it, uh, but you have to watch your HP so you don't go down too fast, not really giving you time to benefit greatly from the damage increase. So, high risk, high reward. Exactly how I like to play the game, right? And this is just so cool that they did this. I think this pilot will be the number one damage dealing pilot in the game period. There's nothing that will help you deal more damage than the Manny pilot. It may still not, it doesn't mean that this is the best pilot for you, period, because some legendary pilots for certain robots might still give you an ability for that particular robot that you might personally prefer. But for me, that pilot is exactly my playstyle, and Pixonic has really nailed it on that, okay? By the way, I also will show you in a few seconds, we're playing on Valley, and I'll show you a match where I was really having hard, a hard time making good hits with Vortex. Um, that was really very difficult. Uh, so uh, because of all those absorber shoots and stuff, I, I'll show this to you in a sec. Uh, but yeah, that was so, so far the um, the bio and the ability. Again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll try to link you the uh, Instagram link in the top right, and uh, the ma the name is Manny Gaming. Uh, with that symbol. Uh, that would be awesome if you could help me with that, achieving this big goal uh, that I'm trying to work for. Uh, and other than that, uh, stay tuned for the giveaways here on the channel. I already have confirmation my next giveaway, the regular giveaway for the month of July, will be 200 Orochi robots, okay? So, wanna get an Orochi robot? Then, uh, yeah, also probably is would be useful if you j subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet, because that gets you notified once all those giveaways go live, right? And then there's gonna be a giveaway probably with the Manny Pilot, that uh, will where I will be the first to give you a chance at winning it, right? So yeah, um, again, another giveaway also coming in July when the pilot hits the game. Which may give you the question, okay Manny, when is that pilot actually going to arrive, right? Good question. From what I gather right now, I think it's gonna be within the first half of July. Uh, so, within the next two weeks, basically, I think the pilot will arrive and uh, that will also be probably when my giveaway reaches, the, uh, we reaches you where you can win that pilot, and, uh, <laughs> oh, that damage, oh, look at this, I'm going back for this, Let, let's see, let's just enjoy this once more, I'm hitting him, he's locked, he's landing, and 
Bam! Last stand for you, buddy. Nice, <laughs> nice shot there. And uh, and then also during the second part of this month, I think the second half, we're having the 200 Orochi giveaways here on the channel. Let me make that Manny Pilot a little smaller because uh, maybe we don't need it to be this big throughout the entire video. Let's put it there. I think that still leaves us with enough room on this ba on the on the screen. Also, um, another thing is uh, you've seen I've been playing Vortex now and we're losing on beacons. Four to one lose, right? And I decided that it's time to use something fast. In this case, it is actually my own Orochi here on my account with the double devastators. Uh, to try and uh, cap some beacons because the Orochi is fast and it's an excellent beacon capper and by taking down opponents and grabbing their beacons I can together with my team turn around this battle really quickly here and uh, make a loss a win, right? This is something I would have not been able to do with uh, with the Vortex Typhon because the Vortex is fun to play but you're not really pushing beacons with Vortex, right? That you're, not, you're just not going to do that. That would be uh, suicide basically. So uh, my Vortex play obviously is basically just a fun playstyle, dealing tons of damage, maybe eliminating and being like an assassin towards certain enemies, like Ares and other things, landing hawks that I can delete when they land. That's something I can do very well with the Vortex, but taking deep beacons is something you don't really do much uh, with those type of weapons. And therefore my Orochi comes in here at the last time uh, or last moment to save the day together with the rest of my team. So we're jumping into one more match on Valley now. And again, this is the big one where I want to show you how difficult Vortex play can be. Because as much as I appreciate the fact that Pixonic has recognized that I love Vortex play, this is what typically happens. Cloaking unit. Okay, well, I was not able to deal good damage because he had cloaking unit. Okay, well, let's try again, right? Next shot. Uh, second shot is a charm. It was to say, pop. Okay, here comes the absorber shield popping up, pretend preventing the damage to come in, right? And uh, what do we have there? Oh, it's a Typhon. This guy may actually take some damage and bam, bam, bam. Oh no, he's got an absorber shield. So 70% of my damage was simply blocked away. So, you know, this is, this is Vortex play today. And that's very sad because those weapons are so fun. They are so much fun to use. It's they're just so difficult to be useful these days. And uh, it took me quite a while to record some good moments with it. And I just wanted to, I think I thought I also have to share, share, share and show this to you here. That Vortex play is difficult. And uh, right now, due to all those Absorber Shields here, look. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, boom, Absorber Shield, zero damage done. That was like 200 potential thousand damage blocked away. I was like, okay, well, he's not getting a shield now. So I'm going to may as well just fire and pam, Absorber Shield. Another 200,000 damage just blocked away. This guy has resistance from the legendary pilot, so he takes zero damage. And I think you've seen now that from the moment I have entered this battle, I haven't done any damage really. Look at this guy, boom. All Vortex came in at the exact same time, and yet somehow only one of the Vortex or two of them actually scored a hit. The other two or three that should have really dropped him down to at least half HP. Remember, I'm running the booster from the drone. Uh, yo, he's only taken like 15%. How is that possible, right? That means that the the Absorber Shield somehow, even though all rockets come in at the same time, somehow managed to block block away like 70% of the damage and only let like 30% go through. And that, that stuff keeps happening all the time now. And yeah, we need to uh, we need to have Pixonic help out with this. Guys, Pixie, we need your help in uh, in letting Vortex play be and remain relevant. That portable rocket launcher that my pilot is having on his shoulder needs to remain re relevant, okay? And one one of the solutions would be to help out um, with the accuracy of the weapon so it hits moving targets better. And secondly, that, I don't know, something that w prevents the constant loss of damage that you experience due to those absorber shields that you just can't plan, right? They're unpredictable. So when are you ever going to send your rockets? When do you know you can, you can actually score a hit? Even using the Typhon to deactivate physical shield uh, fast, uh, abilities and phase shift will somehow not work, right? And there you see, oh, 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 massive damage. Overdrive is activated. 75% increased damage through overdrive. The jump unit is activated for the drone booster. And uh, four max vortex are hitting a stationary Daymater. He's completely standing still. Bam. That's 5% damage. With about 250% damage boost on a stationary Demeter. Alright, I thought that was a bug. 
Let's repeat this. Stay Daymater comes out again. This time I'm gonna hit him with the Typhon ability. Shield and movement deactivated. Perfect hit. Boom! 5% damage. How is this possible? How? I was not suppressed, right? So, there's evidently some problems that need to be addressed on the Vortex. Um, and uh, since I'm playing Vortex in this video, I felt like it. I, I, this is a good moment to suggest uh, the fix or the solution here. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so let's jump backwards, deal some massive damage. Yams! Considering this is a Fenrir with lots of resistance, I guess the damage was okay. Let's see how much of uh, Minos takes. Boom! 30% damage, dude! That was a really big hit. Let's test the uh, Arthur right there. And Tsang, Tsang, Tsang. Increase damage and bam, 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 bam. Whoa, he's going down fast. Also, the Minos is shooting him down as well. There's a target. Rams, Titan Slayer. That was even a Titan, I didn't even know. I got myself locked by the reflector of the Hawk ability. It actually reflects lockdown effects too. He's landing there now and it looks like we're losing the match right now, but it may still be possible to win this. Uh, the Typhon robot sh shield has the ability to even block area effect completely. Uh, but here comes, look, here comes a 250,000 damage hit. Actually, wait a minute. That's like a 400,000 damage hit with overdrive and the drone, sh uh, drone damage. Fire! Boom! Absorber shield. 400,000 potential damage makes zero. Yeah, big frustration, those uh, absorber shields. And there it is, back again, the absorber shield firing at him. Boom! This time I was able to hit and drop him to, over, uh, to last stand. Thankfully, I got some support from my team. There's the shield for the fourth time now. It, it, how would I have been able to? How would I have ever been able to fight back against this guy if it wasn't for the help of those titans? Boom! Nice damage there. Uh, it, I think it was a hawk, and he took a big hit right there before he was uh, activating that shield. Let's wait for it. He's gonna drop down. I'm sending the vortex in sequence as it is useful to do. But there comes the killing blow into the absorber shield from the drone. But then my blackout ability killed him, which is really funny afterwards, right? The blackout just deleting him. Yeah, man. That's how we do it in a money town. We don't need no vortex. We just fire with blackout and, and take him down this way. And jump and suppression and lock and whoop, increase damage. Boom. I didn't expect much damage against a highly resistant titan, but still, that was a good 7%. Here comes a hawk. Get ready for it. He's landing in two. One. Fire. And boom! Kill! <laughs> yeah! Alright, that's how we do it in the Manny Town. Now, to take the, um, to just re repeat here, Manny's special ability is called Manny's Tactics. It gets you a damage bonus, a simple damage bonus that runs all the time, and then you get increased damage bonus every 10% durability that you lose, which makes this pilot be a very, a lot similar to uh, what Overdrive is. And of course you can combine this effect with actual overdrive, with the increased damage from drones, with other increased damage pilot abilities that you can do, like Shock Drain, Power Man, for example, recharging faster, or other uh, things that simply increase damage output after you make a kill. You can make, I think it would be possible with this pilot to reach some somewhere around like maybe 400% damage boost. I don't know if this is possible, but this is gonna be something I'll test with you guys as soon as I can, okay? So stay tuned for the giveaway. It's gonna happen. The giveaway for the Manny Pilot, I think it's gonna happen. I have kind of gotten the okay for it. And then the 200 Orochi giveaway that will also hit in July. Look at that poor Galahad gotten almost deleted in one hit from the Vortex. Oh man, let's delete him further. Sang, sang, sang. One, two, three, and bam! Here we go. So, Manny Pilot for the win! Get ready for it, it's gonna happen very soon, ladies and gents. And, um, thank you guys so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with me, you guys are awesome as always. Manny signing off, bye bye. And, uh, yeah, awesome if you could check out and help me out with that Instagram goal I have. See you guys in the next videos, bye!